Your church is awesome. It's wonderful. Praise God. And you're filling it up. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Let's go ahead. Can I pray? Can I pray? I know Pastor Benet pray, but let me pray. Father God, we just ask your blessing upon your word. And Father, I pray you give me utterance in your Holy Spirit and boldness to speak as I ought to speak. As I open my mouth, I pray I would speak the oracles of God. And Father, we just pray a blessing upon your word. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Uh, and so we're going to be reading from the Bible and preaching out of the Bible. And, uh, and we, we say in our church a lot of times that, uh, that, the, that the Bible is God speaking to me. And we say this a lot too. We say God is good. Okay, good, good. <laughs> It's good. I wanted to read. I'm gonna wanted to talk tonight. I know you, um, you, you're praying and fasting, and uh, uh, but I want I wanted to share. I asked Pastor Benet if I could share about being an armor bearer, an armor bearer tonight, an armor bearer. And first, we're gonna read from Isaiah 58 in verse six. It says, "Is is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness?" to undo heavy burdens and let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke. And there, the anointing will break the yoke. There's an anointing on this church. I can feel it right now. There's, a, there's an anointing on your pastors to be your leaders of your church. So when we, when we fast, it doesn't change God, it changes you. Amen. 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 And, and uh, uh, what I say, fasting will help you be humble. Remember, ambition will lead you in the wrong direction. But the Holy Spirit will lead you in the right direction. So, so in the Old Testament, we see that Jonathan had an armor bearer. Out of 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 7, he said, So his armor bearer said to him, Do all that is in your heart, and go then, and I am with you according to your heart. 1 Samuel 14, 7. Amen. That's what a good armor bearer says. And that's what you've been saying to your pastor. You say to your pastor, do what all is in your heart, pastor. And I am with you. And I will help you. And God will move. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. And, and let's, let's look at verse 12. It says, Then the men of the garrison called to Jonathan and his armor bearer and said, Come up to us, and we will show you something. And Jonathan said to his armor bearer, Come up after me, for the Lord has delivered them into the, the hand of Israel. And Jonathan climbed up on his hands and his knees with his armor bearer after him, and, and they fell before Jonathan, and he came after them, and his armor bearer killed them. That this that first slaughter which Jonathan and his armor bearer made 
was about 20 men within and half of an acre of land. खत्म पार् So this shows that the armor bearer was with Jonathan his leader. And yes this is key Jonathan the bandha kiri the hathiyar bogne manche jo chai Jonathan ko euta agwa thyo u chai Jonathan sangai thyo. This shows that the armor bearer was a skilled warrior. And yes this is key Jonathan the bandha kiri the hathiyar bogne manche chai ekdamai ekdamai ke bancha ekdamai gyani manche thyo. We are warriors for God. Aaj hami chai parmeshwar ko yodha haru hau. And this is the sword The, so you yield your sword with excellent skill. Be a skilled warrior with the word of God. Coming out of your heart and coming out of your mouth. Amen. Praise the Lord. It, now uh, the Bible talks about the armor of God that an armor bearer must put on. So we're going to read from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. A Bible le chai hami lai hathiyar bokne ani hathiyar atmiki hathiyar ko bare ma Ephesians 6 adhyay ma ayu bhane hami lai Bible le bataunda cha. And it says put on the whole armor of God that you may be to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore having girded your waist with truth and put on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith which will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me that utterance may be given to me that i may open my mouth boldly uh, to make known the mystery of the gospel <laughs> धारण कर सकता असरी दुष्ट को शक्ति के विरुद्ध में हम खड़ा होना सकते हम एपीसी छ को दस देखि हम पढ़ते गये हम तो कुरला पा सकता सो एवरी क्रिस्टियन बिलीवर इट सुड बी अ गाड बेर We bear. How many believers do we have here tonight? Raise your hand if you're a believer. A praise God. That's everybody. <laughs> Amen. And we're made in the image of God and created in His image to worship God. And we're also a Christ bearer. We're supposed to share Jesus Christ with other people. अनि हामी चाहिँ ख्रिस्टलाई बोकेर हिँड्ने मानिसहरु पनि हौ जसले चाहिँ ख्रिस्टलाई अरु र मानिसहरुको सामु सामु प्रसार गर्दछ एन्ड वी आर बीइंग कन्फर्मड इनटू क्राइस्ट लाइकनेस अनि हामी चाहिँ ख्रिस्ट जस्तै हामी बनिएका छौ एमेन दैट मीन्स वी आर रिफ्लेक्टिंग समथिंग अफ गॉड विथ अदर पीपल अनि त्यसको मतलब चाहिँ परमेश्वर जो हुनुहुन्छ त्यो कुरो हामी अरु मानिसहरुको सामु हामी प्रदर्शन गर्छौ एमेन प्रे एमेन वी हैव द कैपेसिटी फॉर लव Say I have the capacity for love. Mo sanga dori aunu us. Mo sanga. Yeah, mercy. Say mercy. mercy. Uh, is it the same? <laughs> okay. Justice. Nay. Compassion. Ah, uh, daya. It, and with help of the Holy Spirit of holiness. And the power. Pavitratma ko sai thale jai a pavitrata. Say I can walk in holiness. सब जान भाई मवित्रता में हिड़न सकू 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. So what is the weapon of the armor of God? The sixth piece of the armor in Ephesians 6, like I said before, is the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. Right, and, and, and the sword is an offensive weapon. And it pierces uh, dividing asunder of soul and spirit. So sharpen your sword. And that's, that's studying and, and reading it. And when you go, you sharpen your sword, you go, shh, 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 shh. And you let the man of God pray and sharpen his sword. Shh, shh, shh. And then when he speaks the word, it, it penetrates and gets into people's hearts. Yeah. And their hearts are turned towards God. And there are lady armor bearers. And lady armor bearers serve the first lady. <laughs> Go ahead and say that. And they help her visit guests and provide for the needs of other people and offer assistance to the first lady. So they pray for the pastor and the first lady. They give her prayer and encouragement. Pastor Benet is not doing this by himself. <laughs> he has a wonderful help meet helping him. I have a wonderful help meet helping me. Amen. Amen. Hey, amen. And remember, an armor bearer is not a tail bearer. A tail bearer. A, a, a slanderer or a gossip. Right, we speak life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So Moses was a rose, and he had a wonderful armor bearer, and his armor bearer's name was Joshua. And one day he, he asked uh, uh, Joshua with take mighty men and to go fight uh, Amalek. And Moses went on top of a hill with Aaron and her. And he held the rod of God up. And as long as the rod of God was in up, the Joshua and the army was winning. But Moses got tired. But Aaron and her lifted Moses' arms. And they won the battle. Amen. So lift your pastor's arm. He has a heart for Nepal. 
And you have a, a summer uh, uh, Bible uh, uh, conference in Nepal. Yeah, Bible school. Right, 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 right. So continue to lift his hands. And run with the vision. So you say, what does this have to do with fasting? What does this have to do with fasting? That you, can, that you can care about somebody else and not your own little belly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, now, uh, 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 I'm going to skip that part. Now, I'm going to show you what I got here. Let me, let me bring this over here. So, uh, so I'm just about, I think, almost there. So, there's different ministries in the church. Different ministries in the church. So, you have ushers ministry. And, and, ushers, and ushers go gather the offering. Gather the offering the same way Pastor Benet would gather the offering. He doesn't say, give me the money. <laughs> no, he, say, he says, would you like to give an offering to God? Amen. So if you're clean in the church, clean the church the way Pastor Benet would clean the church. Or, or, or the first lady. <laughs> Or, 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 amen. So if pastor, if you're driving the church van, don't drive the church van the way you want to drive the church van. <laughs> driving really fast. <laughs> anyway, drive it as you would be taking care of the sheep. Same thing with snows here in America. And you have to shovel the snow sometimes. The yeah. sidewalk. Or the sidewalk over here. Somebody has to shovel the sidewalk. Yeah. yeah, please never make your pastor do that. But you do it. You do it the same way he would do it. He wouldn't say that icy spot is okay. He said somebody could slip on that. We have to fix it. Hey, amen. Uh, didn't the worship team do good? Give it up for the worship team. I can see the worship team and Pastor Benet are one. But that takes a die into yourself. And fasting helps that. Because a guitar player could, could want to go, <laughs> right? I think they got that. <laughs> Amen. If you're working with the children, and you want to work with the children nicely, if you're teaching the children the word of God, and watching the children, you want to teach them nicely and love on them the same way Pastor Benet and Pastor Kashula would. And just go ahead and love them. 
So I brought a little thing here. I'm going to show you what I got. So you have a nice big parking lot. <laughs> And if I was the parking lot attendant, I believe you're going to get more cars and more people coming to church. So if you're the parking lot man or lady, you be nice to them. Not like No, but nice, like, oh, come this way. You're going to be blessed today. Amen. And let, so keep the spirit of the pastor upon you. Because at first, that's where the unity is. It says, first, the un how blessed and how wonderful it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. I can feel the unity that is here. You have wonderful unity. God bless you. It comes down from the head. And then it come, runs down and then on Aaron's beard. And the whole body. And that the anointing of your pastor will come on you. And you have an awesome church. You have an awesome church. But sometimes you have to fast. Because sometimes you might say, I don't like that. I, I don't like what happened today. Pastor Benay did not shake my hand. <laughs> hey, Sister Kashula didn't give me a hug. Forget that. You have to die to yourself. I just took a shortcut. Hey, hey, Beth. And when you're in the parking lot, don't forget. The Bible says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. And I played like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. 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 So, don't, so don't forget the job that you're doing. When I was a little boy, my dad told me, Chris, go cut the grass with the lawnmower. And me and my brother would play ball and we would forget. And he would come back and say, well, you need to grow up. Yeah, amen. Amen. We'll give this to some little person when we leave, okay? <laughs> and, and, and so so let this year be, you're prepared, you're ready. You're ready, you got ready in January here. Your church is ready. You're going to take off like a rocket. You're going to take off. You're ready. You're ready. And God is going to do wonderful things. Man, I mean, I Amen. Amen. So continue to, I know you probably were praying for souls. But pray for souls. Pray for people to be filled with the Holy Spirit. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Pray for miracles, signs, and wonders. 
pray for people to be water baptized. Pray for utterance for your pastor. That God will give him the words to speak. And pray that people will be added to the church. Amen. That's what I wanted to share. That's what I wanted to share. Thank you, Pastor Benet.